Hello and welcome to the Monday, October 7th, 2024 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Friday, I did a quick summary of some of the URLs we have been seen so far that attempted to exploit the Linux Cups vulnerability. Nothing too exciting at this point, really just a lot of attempts to profile vulnerable systems, find vulnerable systems. Many of them are coming from researchers who really just try to figure out how many vulnerable systems there are out there. At this point, our honeypots are not responding to these attempts so they don't show up as vulnerable which of course also means that we may not see some of the follow-up attacks and late last week listener thomas alerted me of a recent usenix paper that did take a look at some of the exposed ldap implementations that are exposed to the internet a number of different researchers from germany in particular from munster university of applied sciences uh, took part in this work it was presented in august at the usenix security symposium one of the issues uh, they focus on particular in the paper is that among the instances the ldap instances uh, they found exposed a lot of them are used for authentication. It's sort of one of the big uses of LDAP, of course. After all, Active Directory is built around LDAP. And when you're using LDAP for authentication, one of sort of the catch-22s you're running into is that a user connecting to LDAP may not be authenticated yet. So you have to allow some anonymous, unauthenticated communications to the LDAP server. They're going over how many of the servers they found are leaking credentials are leaking other identifiable information but also are vulnerable to known issues if you are running ldap for authentication certainly worthwhile looking at it and definitely one of those things that you don't really want to expose directly so look at how you can better secure your ldap instances And of course, one of the topics I'm always interested in is new attacks against developers. Uh, The latest one comes from a blog by uh, Milos, who does explain how analyzing dump files in Visual Studio can be used in order to execute arbitrary code. The problem here are PDB files. Uh, These files are containing debug information. PDB stands for Program Debug Database. And of course, that's something that you usually like if you are debugging software, if you're trying to figure out one why some software crashed. But uh, these files that are embedded in the crash dump can actually be used against you because they themselves may include executable code that can then be executed automatically by Visual Studio. The vulnerability was fixed in Visual Studio 2022 17 8, 11. that was released in June. Milos, as part of uh, the blog post now, however, did release a proof of concept exploit. So certainly something to be aware of and make sure you're running up-to-date versions of Visual Studio. And Apple on Friday released updates. Now, the updates affected all operating systems. However, only the iOS and iPadOS updates did contain security fixes. One of them is sort of interesting in that uh, a particular voice recording may include audio for a couple seconds before or after the actual voice recording appeared to start to the user Not sure if I would consider that super critical, but certainly is something uh, odd and uh, to uh, to be fixed. Second one is where the password user saved uh, when you are saving them in a keychain may accidentally be read aloud by a voiceover. So uh, these two vulnerabilities have now been addressed. Wouldn't really consider any of them like super uh, critical or anything, but uh, certainly good to have them fixed. And of course, exploitation may already have happened because these are sort of side effects that are not necessarily triggered by any particular attack behavior. 
Well, this is it for today. So thanks again for listening. And just as a quick reminder on October 15th, Jason and myself will do a workshop where we'll sort of do a pretty extensive demo that you can follow along for like API security. We're looking at authentication servers. All of that is free. It will be a couple of hours on October 15th. So I'll add a link uh, to the show notes and uh, various other places on this site in case you're interested and would like uh, to register. Thanks and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.